the topic of the session the chapter 5 is quadratic equations the quadratic equations are also one of the most important concept in mathematics as the linear equations as we have discussed about linear equation is a linear polynomial equated to 0 similarly I can say a quadratic equation is a quadratic polynomial equated to 0 and then let's see how it has come into existence in mathematics say for example I had a rectangular plot whose area is 800 meter square to start with quadratic equations now importance of quadratic equations is that we use this in many branches of other topics even in science where this is the most important concept so let's see its origin so for example I have a rectangle plot a rectangular plot whose area is 800 kilometer square or I say it is 1600 meter square is the area of this rectangular plot then I know the length but I have to adjust the width then let's see how we can do that using quadratic equations so for example a rectangular plot with area 1600 meter square is given to be with its length four times that of breadth or I can say in addition to four it is added with four to that of width so that when I take my width as X then my length is x plus 4. If this is the minimum information given in a rectangular plot, then I can find the length and width using a quadratic equation. Then let's see how a quadratic equation is generated from this introductional problem. Now, as we know that the area of rectangle here is given to be 1600 meter square, then I Next, use the area of the rectangle, which is length times its width. So length being x plus 4 times of width being x would finally give me 1600 meter square, which in turn gives me x square plus 4x minus 1600 equal to 0. So this is how I get when I take all the variables and all the constants to the left and only keeping 0 on the right hand side. Now such equations which I obtain in mathematics for the given situational problem of a rectangular plot is called a quadratic equation. Quadratic because the highest degree is 2. So a quadratic polynomial when I equate to 0 is on the whole called a quadratic equation. So we are going to study the different properties in quadratic equation in this session. So let's start with the basic definition of what is a quadratic equation in mathematical definition. A quadratic equation, what is it in mathematical definition? A quadratic equation, if we understand in the general form, it's a quadratic polynomial. equated to 0. Of course, a quadratic polynomial in variable x, if I equate that to 0, then that equation is called a quadratic equation. And a quadratic polynomial is already discussed in the previous sessions where a polynomial of degree 2 is said to be a quadratic polynomial. Now, if I take the quadratic polynomial in general form, then I assume the quadratic polynomial in general form as ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So this is called a quadratic equation in general form. And the condition here is that a is not equal to 0 and each of a, b, c are real numbers and here x is the unknown which is the variable. So the variable here is identified to be x is how I define 
the quadratic equation in x. This is the basic definition of quadratic equation in general form. Now as we have seen that a linear equation has only one solution then the quadratic equation has two solutions, a cubic equation has three solutions, so on and so forth. A polynomial of degree n has n solutions. Therefore, we always identify the two solutions in for quadratic equation by using various properties which we are going to discuss in the next sessions. So how to find the value of x is the next biggest question in this. How to find the unknown x? What are the different methods of finding x? is what we are going to see, which is called finding of solution of quadratic equation. To start with an example for this, this is 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 is an example of a quadratic equation where the value of a is identified to be 2 because I compare this with the standard form of the quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then b is minus 5 and c is 6 and the variable x is x. So this is clearly an example of a quadratic equation. But if I take 0x squared minus 5x plus 6, this is not a quadratic equation because this fails with this condition. a equal to 0, that implies not a quadratic. This cannot be a quadratic is how I understand the quadratic equation in with its each of its basic definitions.